Hey folks, so today um, I wanted to make something I've been meaning to make for a while now. So this is now, what, November? And uh, last few times we were in France, uh, Fiona and I were looking at all the uh, the cool uh, wind vanes that they have that point to the direction of the wind that you put on your chimneys. And uh, we're thinking that we could maybe, maybe uh, get one next time. Um, and then I thought, well, actually, I could try and make one. So that's what we're going to do um, today. So what I have here is my pile of uh, trusty metal. I already know some of the stuff I need. Um, so I have... Uh, I have this uh, thing that I'm gonna reuse. It's gonna be my. Uh, sorry, let's see if I can put that. Right, this is gonna be my my base. Uh, it's gonna come from here, and then I'm gonna put it. Uh, my my wind vane is gonna be here, and then put a. I'll attach a tube to the end that will actually slot in there, and uh, that should be good. I might put um, rubber and grease just to let it uh, turn freely. But yeah, that's the idea. Uh, it should be simple enough, says I. Uh, so I need a tube of sorts, so I'm gonna go to my uh, pile of scraps, and then uh, I'll use, when I have these things that were taken from, uh, this various bit, I think this came from one of the arcades, uh, well, this guy, actually. Um, gonna have to move that to the side. But this was the top of this uh, whole power supply unit which actually I have no use for anymore, so um, this is going to be recycled in uh, other things. But uh, I might use that to, uh, to cut the motive for the wind vane. Um, I would think about it afterwards. I'm going to see if I can find some uh, pieces of tubing. So I have this that I might use at some point for to slot that base into it. Um, or maybe this will, uh, will suit. Um, but... <laughs> I'm gonna see if I have, but I have another piece of tube here that might actually do better. Um, and these are, these are camping metal tubes for an old tent. Uh, when I say I don't throw anything, I really mean it. <laughs> so I've kept that and uh, Yes, yeah, so I see if I can reuse this. Uh, I see another piece of that. Huh. Let's bring this over. Okay, so I've drew a, I drew out um, the outline of a, um, a boat. This is uh, called a Galway hooker, and uh, it's a traditional boat uh, of the area. Uh, and uh, yeah, you'll spare me the, the hooker joke. But that's what they call Galway hookers. Uh, beautiful boats with just black body and red sail. Um, so just freehanded the outline and then use rulers just to clean out the, uh, the lines. But that's what I'm gonna use. And then maybe we'll have, uh, an, uh, I'll take another sheet and uh, have maybe some few waves or something like that and trailing a bit. So the idea is to have it, have the, uh, the pivot point more on the front uh, so that way this will be facing the wind uh, if I put it too much on the back then it'll be you know the, the back will be facing the wind so it really depends where your pivot is you want more of the full body and weight uh, on the on the back of your wind vane um, so roughly here so I'm gonna cut this uh, I'm gonna see if I can cut it with this uh, Dremel here um, I don't want to use the angle grinder because uh, it'll, uh, it'll heat up the metal too much and possibly bend it. So uh, let's try that. There you go. Uh, so the reason I did this with the uh, the Dremel was that it's just a bit finer, and the hacksaw would 
probably damage some of the uh, the smaller bits okay so this is what I have uh, right now after some work so I just uh, made sure everything was smooth and filed and uh, so I've sanded down here um, initially I thought I was gonna do some maybe have a, a bit of recess here and uh, I, I've worked that but I realized it doesn't actually serve much uh, purpose uh, it'll be painted all black anyway so I don't think we'll see it so well I, I, yeah I'm not gonna I'm not gonna continue I'm gonna abandon this idea uh, it's fine as it is yeah I, I worked at it for a while but you can't actually you can feel it slightly but it's not that much and then I'll have to do that on the other side and uh, it's gonna be on the roof you won't be able to see it anyway uh, plus it'll be painted all black so it serves no purpose whatsoever so what I uh, um, I will do then is uh, I'll take one of these uh, tent rods uh, these are sturdy enough and I've cut a slot here already so I'm gonna just slot that in maybe somewhere here and see because it will naturally uh, face the wind and uh, that way I'm gonna have maybe a maybe a, 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 a trail of waves but I will actually just put that on top of, of uh, this section um, so yeah we, we'll see afterwards so what I'll do next is I'm gonna flatten this in place I'll drill two holes and just uh, uh, solder or weld it like that and uh, I will just use screws would it be easier um, to replace and work on yeah I don't know I like the idea of uh, soldering it first maybe I should test test it first as well uh, I might do that I might cut it here uh, gonna drill a hole just maybe put a screw for now and then test it on uh, on a piece of uh, metal try and face that weight there's not much wind today but wait until there's a uh, wind and uh, and see if it works like that it should but you never know anyway uh, let's keep working There you go, simple as that. Um, I'll just put two screws here for now. And uh, might leave them, well, I'll shorten them, but might leave it like that. Still be painted black anyway. And uh, this slides in here. Uh, grease that properly, but it should spin. And uh, let me. So there's no wind for me to test it now, but. I be clean this a bit so it turns a bit better. But I, I like this so far. So what I might do is I might make that wave sort of thing here and then uh, and then test this once we get wind. So I cleaned uh, this guy and uh, filed inside here as well, just to um, just to limit the friction. And uh, yeah, it's made a big difference already. Uh, I'll see if I can find maybe a rubber. What do I need to? It's going to be metal, metal. I'd be afraid that it um, rusts. But if I grease it properly, it it should be okay. I think this will be fine as is. Yeah, and once I have the tail, see it, the tail will actually help catch extra wind. So if I have like uh, little waves, things like that, um, just tailing out, uh, then we should be fine. Um, okay, let's keep working. Alright, so now it's time to weld these two parts together. Um, 
So I've just drilled three holes there, and uh, there you go, just for... Because it's, it's literally right on the back of this guy, and uh, I want it to be secure, at least in three points, so it doesn't, doesn't shift like that. Um, and I'm going to test if that works, and if it does, I'll do the same here. Uh, maybe reinforce this area here as well. Um, I don't know. I actually don't mind ha having it removable here, maybe. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna weld this part here, and we'll see if this works at all. Right, you can still see the uh, the solid points here, but I'm afraid of. Uh, see, it's it's warped because it's so thin. So I'm afraid of, and I have it on min set to minimal. So I'm, I'd be afraid of taking more material um, that I need to. And this is sturdy you now; it's solid enough. So uh, yeah, I think I'll leave it as that. This is thinner yet and I've sort of reinforced it here and here uh, just to kind of yeah yeah I think I'm gonna leave uh, these bolts here they don't take away too much really and uh, it'll all be painted afterwards and then I'm gonna cut the uh, the length here and, uh, and be done with it and move on to the next section the uh, cardinal points so what do I mean by cardinal point? So what we're gonna have is, uh, this is gonna be sitting on this, it's rotating nice and freely now, and um, here on this base, uh, I'm gonna cut four pieces of, uh, four bars of metal. So I have one here somewhere, uh, from my same piece again, uh, probably shorter than that, but I'm gonna, f uh, two like this and two like this, and at the end, uh, I will weld north, east, west, and south. Um, well, this is west. They're all upside down, but um, I'm going to cut these out of this uh, piece of scrap metal yet again, and then uh, have these on the end like that to mark uh, the uh, cardinal points. And this will be welded on the sorry uh, here under here. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly I'm gonna do this. Sorry, under here. Uh, I might need to actually just flatten them uh, up to this point and just give them a good uh, surface weld here. And then, uh, yeah, they probably need to be a bit smaller. I'd say. Let's see about here. Don't want it too huge. And yeah. So this length. So I'm gonna cut four pieces like that. Clean all this, uh, flatten uh, uh, section here, so that I get a good surface uh, touching uh, to weld. Uh, not too much, I don't want it cut half, I want some recess so I can weld under, uh, but yeah. So let's do that, let's put this aside. This would be just about right. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay.
there you go uh, my, my welding scales are far from perfect but um, yeah it's solid there you go so we're one step closer to having our thing completed uh, so next job I need to do is um, to cut the letters all right so next I got uh, my letters here more or less drawn just free-handed on this piece of uh, metal There you go, that's my uh, pieces rough cut and uh, I'm just going to use the Dremel now to uh, just to clean them and uh, tidy the shape of it. Alright, I got these uh, four letters now down. So I'm going to need to strip, uh, strip off the paint, drill a hole somewhere center. I will uh, weld them this way onto the uh, onto the base here. Yeah, that should do it. Alright, so I got my W here um, in place. I'm just holding it with, with a, a magnet, so with a sort of a, a square angle. But I'm slightly worried about the uh, just the warping from the heat. So hopefully, hopefully you will see. Well, disaster, disaster, disaster. Um, the well took, but it's actually, you can see it's so thin, it's eating away at this uh, piece of metal here. So, uh, yeah, I don't think that's good enough to uh, to weld this. It's too uh, just too pliable, so I'm gonna need to use thicker metal. The other thing is, it's sort of a blessing in disguise because this is up. Uh, my W is upside down and uh, yeah that's no good so I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this and uh, sort of uh, redo my letters from scratch because this metal is way too thin uh, for what I want to do ah, damn it. so I have uh, this sheet of uh, spare metal it's much thicker and it's actually full of holes but that might actually work first time I'd be able to plug them but also if I'm just clever enough I might be able to draw the letters around the hole uh, and use one of those holes as just the holes I would have to drill afterwards so we'll try that uh, I have no other use for these anyway so might as well see if I can use it I'm gonna strip it first though Okay, I got more cut here. These are a bit better actually, they don't, yeah, a bit more solid. Uh, I went for sort of rounder shapes uh, because rounder tools, it's all very, very free-handed, but it'll, uh, it'll look cool once it's in, it's in place. Anyway, let's, uh, let's weld these in place. And the right way up this time.
time lapse. Um, so I've redone all my letters with a sort of thicker, much thicker uh, metal, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. All came out okay. Um, these are all free-handed. I just apply uh, just a very light coat of uh, black paint just to protect the wood. Uh, just to protect the wood. And uh, now, uh, so it's gonna sit like that. The uh, the boat is uh, is sliding into this rod. So here I need, well, I need um, a piece of metal or tubing just to extend so I can attach that to uh, to what I have outside. And what I have outside is, uh, if I can show you, you have to excuse the wind, I'm gonna try and shelter this. But um, it's gonna go up there, and there's already fittings. Uh, this was for uh, an old uh, aerial receiver for uh, our uh, old internet connection. It was a line of sight type of aerial that actually went in this direction. And um, uh, I've changed now, we have 100 meg broadband fiber thing, so uh, we don't need that. But I left the fittings there just in case uh, we ever got a wind vane. So I'm gonna use uh, this, I don't know where I got this. I think this was, I once made a skate ramp and this was the uh, the coping uh, on the on the rail uh, for of the, uh, the skate ramp and uh, I kept the metal. But you can see I've used it for propping stuff and it bent badly. So I'm gonna cut a section from here to roughly here. Get the, as straight as I can and that'll be our extension to uh, to clamp and attach the uh, the wind vane onto uh, onto the chimney. So let's cut that. Let's cut that. Weld that in place, and uh, and then you know light light coat painted black. Uh, I've already painted applied two coats of black on this guy already, uh, so it's looking much much tidier and cleaner. Um, I'm probably gonna need, let's say, three more coats and then um, a light coat of uh, just uh, just uh, varnish, clear gloss varnish. Uh, it's car varnish, so it doesn't re-rust. But anyway, let's uh, let's get back to work. I made the mistake of uh, painting this base, but uh, really uh, I wanted as clean and uh, prepped as I can because this is this is where it will connect. Um, I'm gonna have to find a way to link them together. I have these magnets. Somewhere. They're small, lightweight uh, magnets, so I might be able just to have them. Uh, Sort of like that, align it flat, and then uh, and then I use them to to align them with the with this guy here. Uh, these are very handy. Uh, so we'll see if we can do this here and uh, make sure everything's flush. Four weld points and then weld it properly all around, and hopefully hopefully it'll work. It'll be sturdy enough. We're almost there. 
Right, I have this to sort of a uh, where I'm happy. Should be a line and uh, one here, one here. All right, let's see, and then weld this properly. Move all these, they're in the way. I have it sanded back down to uh, where I'm happy and uh, this slides right on top and uh, so um, I, yeah I'm, I'm happy with it it's actually quite straight and uh, yeah it's sturdy solid on uh, there's a good weld in there uh, I can't do much cleaning inside obviously but uh, I, I see it has uh, penetrated so it's good and uh, Happy overall. So now I just need to finish painting. I'll probably mask off here, paint all that base up to here, uh, uh, black. Uh, this is meant for being outside. It's uh, but because I sanded some of it, I want I want to coat it in, uh, in, in protective uh, rust paint. Uh, that gloss, it's gloss. It's a black uh, gloss paint with uh, some rust protection thing. So. Um, Hopefully, hopefully it'll uh, it'll do the job. Anyway, let's uh, let's get painting. I want a straight uh, line first, and then she's gonna bring it. I'm gonna loosely paint, so I don't want any residual of it. Just paint to fall on that. It doesn't matter too much. I think we're okay. Here. But you're better off using more masking tape than uh, than not enough. Just gonna apply a thin coat first, and then uh, let it dry, and come back with uh, about three, four equally thin coats. Couple more coats, and uh, we're ready to uh, put it up. I probably won't put up in this video because even though it, it looks nice, it's uh, it's very windy, and uh, it's been raining quite a lot. So I'm gonna have to wait for a dry, non-windy day to put this up, and uh, it's probably not gonna happen uh, in winter here, at least not in Ireland. So I'm uh, I might have to wait a couple of weeks or a couple of months, most likely. Uh, to hang this up so we're gonna finish this project uh, and uh, and uh, hopefully I'll get a, I'll get a chance to hang it up at some point and I'll, I'll show you in another video there you go folks uh, this is the wind vane you'll have to excuse all the wind I'm gonna try and get this uh, camera as sheltered from the wind but you can hear it's it's pretty blowing out but this is the wind vane done and um, seems to be working as well I'm pretty happy. So this is going up there at some point. Uh, not now because it's not safe. And uh, there you go. There's there's me there. Hello. And um, folks, I hope this was again interesting. Uh, thank you, thank you for watching. And uh, don't forget, you know, you can you can join the Discord server to chat uh, with me and a ton of other very talented people. Um, there's a Patreon as well if you want to help the channel. And of course all the uh, usual stuff, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.